Welcome back to the Morning Blend. According to Wallet Hub, 9 million marriage proposals will be made tomorrow on Valentine's Day. That means lots of weddings on the horizon. So whether you're the bride, the mother of the bride, a bridesmaid, or a guest, you always want to look your best. So with many diets and lifestyles to choose from, how do you get started and pick the right one? Sherry Stoka has some ideas. She's a dietitian and owner of Wayless MD. Great to see you again. Good yeah, to good to you. see you. Thanks for Thank being you. here. We're going to kind of break down the four big, maybe most popular diets that are around mm -hmm. today. But in terms of the way you work, how do you decide what's right for someone? Well, I think you really have to kind of take a step back and get to know the person and what they've tried. So we really spend a lot of time kind of going through their history, you know, what have what have they tried, what has worked for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so really kind of, um, you know, gathering as much information as we can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems like each diet has benefits and struggles. So let's break down maybe the four most popular diets, starting with the Mediterranean diet. Yeah, so... Um, the Mediterranean diet, and again, there are so many diets mm -hmm. out. So, to say that these are, you know, the top four I, is kind of a strong statement. But um, because people come with things that I haven't even heard of, but but right. most people have heard of these four. Yeah, absolutely, yes. yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So they're they're popular right now, yeah. without a doubt. So the Mediterranean diet um, definitely um, does include all of the food groups, so mm -hmm. that's good. So it really encourages fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains. So if you're going to have carbohydrate type foods, you want the whole grains. Um, so you your brown rices or your yeah, correct. Quinoas. Correct. So you're staying away from anything that's processed. So mm -hmm. the boxed foods, um, mm -hmm. refined breads, and you know sugars and things like that lean meats, and then really um, trying to incorporate the healthy fats. So the olive oils are, is very um, important in, in this particular diet. A lot of people know that with the Mediterranean diet, or at least they've heard that you can have red wine on it. Yes, yes. So, so it's now we're supposed to encourage you know that is an optional mm -hmm. choice for <laughs> for them so it's not like you know we we try to get people to start drinking wine once they <laughs> decide to go no but then it's allowed in it moderation is, it is allowed in moderation so then you're kind of trying to determine well really what is moderation you know for mm -hmm. a lot of women mm -hmm. you know some are maybe drinking a little bit beyond the moderate <laughs> amount, right you know so. yes <laughs> and then it does not help your weight loss yes, yes. but exactly. the benefits are it's heart healthy it's brain healthy. It can help with diabetes and cancer prevention. But the problem is it's really tough for people to make some of the food and really be able to have that kind of food on hand, right? Yeah, absolutely, because as we all know, um, just busy lifestyles, mm -hmm. you know, it does require more preparation and planning and more time in the kitchen doing those things because you can't stop and run nope. and grab something quick. So it definitely is one of the more sustainable plans, mm -hmm. I think, because it doesn't eliminate any food groups. Yeah. But but again, it, it's really kind of, you know, trying to fit that into, you know, a life, your busy lifestyle. Yeah. Let's talk about the paleo diet, um, what you can eat just real quickly and what you can't. So, yes, the paleo diet, you can have, again, fresh fruits and vegetables. You um, It encourages some lean meats. You can have eggs, you cannot have any grains. So, you know, the two big things that I think mm. most Americans eat are grains and dairy. Yes. And those are the, the two that are eliminated um, in, in this plan. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so as you can imagine, you know, it, that will be, a, it will be a more difficult diet to follow. So yeah. it's restrictive. There's a higher grocery bill because those things are usually cheaper and it's a little inconclusive on some health benefits. Um, the next one is Weight Watchers. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have followed the Smart Points and um, a couple other programs they have. Yeah, yeah. So Weight Watchers, I think, I think everybody has been on Weight Watchers at some point, at least people that come in and, you know, see us. But it, it is um, based on a point system. And um, so I think, I think the good thing about Weight Watchers is it does teach um, portion control. Right. So, so people, and, and this is, diets are all relative, right? So, you know, a diet is going to work. If you're improving your nutrition, you know, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You're going to get some, you know, you're going to get good results mm -hmm. to a point. Um, but Weight Watchers, you know, there are over 200,000 foods that are now, they, they have um, a point um, associated with it. Mm -hmm. so, so it works, again, in, in portion control. The one thing that what we work with people through is really what happens after you don't have the points to 
you know, associate with. Yeah, it seems like taking. the con is just maintaining it and not having a strong <laughs> program that way. HCG is, is another one that a lot of people are familiar with because it includes a protein hormone that's produced when women become pregnant, and it's associated with rapid weight loss. Yes, and, and the HCG diet is definitely um, a temporary diet, mm -hmm. and um, so, so it's typically like a six to 12 week program that kind of gets weight, gets weight off very quick. And, and I will tell you, this, this diet, when I first started doing a lot of research on this, I, it seemed a little far-fetched as far as you know, what really was happening. Um, and, and the whole basis behind it is that you give, you give this protein hormone and um, along with calorie deprivation, or you create, you, you create a deficit with the calories and the body literally has to find calories somehow because mm -hmm. HCG is a pregnancy hormone. And so the body literally does go to, fat becomes your calories. Mm -hmm. And so this, this does change people metabolically. It absolutely um, is safe for most people. And um, it kind of just gets them prepared for the maintenance phase because it does improve your metabolism and we've, we see it over and over. So mm -hmm. it, 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 it works. You know? I love that you, you work with people to find out what works best for them. You'll really go through that process. And right now you've got half off a genetic test for the first 20 callers. So if you really want to find out what's working for you, your body, and exactly your genetic makeup, you can get half off that test. Typically, so that's $300 off. Here's the phone number to call, 262-226-2046, extension 2. You can visit online at waylessmd.com. Thanks so much, Sherry. Good to see you. Great Thank to you. see you. Thank Very you. Much.